Fantasy Philosophers is brought to you by Fantasy-Info.com. In our latest auction, $200 cap, 12-team mock draft that we had, auction leagues, We've gone ahead and broken down the results for quarterbacks, running backs, receivers, and tight ends. Uh, the one we're going to talk about here is for wide receivers on this board. You can get an idea of some of the values of the, and some of the players that were taken in this 12-team auction draft. Uh, the highest, obviously, was Andre Johnson. He was paid out at $50. I think that was a little outrageous for a wide receiver. But again, you do tend to see these type of... Uh, these type of things have been my experience. You see these a little bit higher values early on in these mock drafts that we have. I think you'll start to see that come down just a little bit as we're moving closer and closer to the season and uh, most of the drafts start going down. So that that would be the highest. And then we have a lot of people, again, you know, you always have a lot of $1 wide receivers that were taken and whatnot, you know, from the, the two extremes. So take a look at this again. Yeah, to get an idea of where the different players are going. Uh, one player that I found interesting as far as his value was Reggie Wayne. He went at $43. That was the third highest receiver. Uh, I'm a little concerned about Reggie this coming season because there's so much talent in Indianapolis that I just don't think. I think he's going at a really high value. I mean, he even went over Larry Fitzgerald here by a dollar. Um, and I think that that's maybe a little bit too high for this veteran. I think that team's going to spread the ball out a little bit, so keep an eye on that. He is getting taken pretty high still, and he is one of the top five or six wide receivers still in fantasy. But I have seen him go as far, not just in auction leagues like this, but I've seen him go in PPR leagues and whatnot also pretty high as well. So keep that in mind with somebody like Reggie Wayne as we're moving into this season. And once again, we just want to let you know that if you're listening to this out there on the internet, maybe on YouTube for a video, we've got this, uh, what we're talking about here available for you. There's a link. It should be a link at the bottom of where this video is at right underneath the text. And you can click on that link. You can go over and you can download uh, this information that we're talking about. You can print it out for yourself to use at your draft. We have that available for you. And if you're also listening to this on a podcast, maybe like Podbean, Mefedia, any one of those Blueberry, any of those type of places, that should also be incorporated. There should be an article with this as well. And there should be some type of link there for you to get back to the specific page that we're talking about for this cheat sheet or mock draft that we happen to be talking to you about right now. Good luck this season, and we hope that this information helps you have success. For more fantasy football information, go to fantasy-info.com and sign up for our free e-newsletter. Good luck in your 2010 fantasy football league. As an added bonus, the Fantasy Info guys will include their five secret tips for success in fantasy football with 